Dollar Tree trying to find some good arts and crafts supplies. Oh, they have so much in here. And sometimes it's a little disorganized and sometimes not, but I found these really cool stackable flower pots that I have all this intention of growing plants, but but yeah, the arts and crafts section is really nice. Really, really neat. Yeah, this section over here is a little, a little messy, but yeah. I'm trying to find some clear glue. The cookie aisle should not be down here. They had some lemon shortbread ones that I really liked, and I don't see them now, of course. All right. It's so neat. Okay, guys, I am shopping hungry. This is not good. But I am going to avoid the temptation. I am looking for those lemon shortbread cookies, so. But look at this honey cornbread muffins <gasps> how good does that sound oh my gosh with some chili oh my gosh it sounds so good a lot of this stuff just takes me back to childhood all right only get what you need oh i saw this the the pantry shelf milk hmm. yeah I don't drink milk so this stuff guys the rice is really really good I definitely recommend getting that ready to eat Spanish rice it's really good and also the jasmine All right, guys, I cannot resist getting this roasted chicken flavored. Getting two of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How good can that be? Carbs, not so good, but. Oh, they have the Himalayan pink salt. You cannot not afford to a shop in here because $1.25, can't beat it. And then they don't have my daughter's favorite chips. It's the dill pickle ones, fried dill pickle. Mm. Oh no. Well, mm, that's a bummer. Okay. Ooh, guacamole chips. Those sound good. All right, Bambi. All right, so guys, I thought about trying that tuna, but I just can't take the feel of it in the pack, so nope. Something different. Hi, guys. This is Rachel. <laughs> I always do that. I'm not sure why, but anyway. How's everyone doing? Um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I just got back in from one of some errands. I had some doctor's appointments to go to, so I'm pretty wiped out right now. Um, we'll be probably taking a long rest after this, but I had to go pick up some, just some um, things from TJ Maxx, and I went to the Dollar Tree. And what I do go to TJ Maxx for is, um, typically my coffee <laughs> and some of the popcorn that they have there but um but anyway so before I start everything I hope everyone's having a wonderful day <clears throat> please don't forget to subscribe please and thumbs up and just leave me a comment say hi just tell me a little bit about yourself and um so anyway I am going to start I've kind of like smushed everything together to get in that to and 
different bags to be able to get it into the house, basically. Um, and so I will just start with my TJ Maxx one. Um, oh, one of the things is there, I have opportunity to be in a craft show, I think like in another month. I'm not really sure if I'm up to it or not. Um, I, because I, the air pressure's got me on a roller coaster. So I'm like completely fatigued and brain's like done. Um, so I would have to be doing lots of resin work, um, continuously every day and I have not been doing that and um, I want to yes um, but um, I need to really look into some more things as far as how to receive payments I don't know enough about it um, how to like run a be a participant in a craft show so um, so I need to find up some more details about that and everything before I can commit to it. I think the table itself was $25. So we will see. I'll keep you posted on that. Um, I do have a lot of little small things made, but nothing that I would say is like, okay, I'm ready to host a craft show and, um, you know, um, but I also need to get some business cards made out too. So. But anyway, so I have a ways to go. It's not something I've committed to. I just saw the opportunity pop up. And I thought, you know what? I don't know if this is the path that God's leading me down to or not. And it may be just enough to get myself, you know, and, you know, get my toes wet, I guess you could say. All right. So I am going to go ahead and start with the TJ Maxx one. And as I said, I get my coffee there. I used to get the, um, uh, it was one by, I don't remember who it was by, um, donut shop one, but it was like the Italian roast, I think. And I used to only drink the medium roast and I think they didn't have it at one point and I ended up getting the dark roast. And I'm like, oh. so then they go back to, it, it was very difficult. So I get this one. I know, I have it upside down. It's called Tall, Dark, and Handsome. I know. It's the cutest name. It says, Hello, Joe. Give me a cup of that Tall, Dark, and Handsome. <laughs> anyway, so they don't always have this. And so I tried to stock up on it. They did have plenty of it today. And um, I, I, you know, if I didn't get all the other stuff, I could have probably afforded to have gotten a lot of it. But um, so each one of these small boxes of 12 is $4.99, which is great. I think. And then um, I also, after I got those, I saw where they had the 24 count, which is $9.99. So I guess that's really about the yeah so actually it's the exact same price um actually this might be one set more but it says tall dark and handsome and a cup of joe okay that's i really like that it's for the k cups and um i do have the ability to fix a pot but i don't usually drink a pot and i run out of it sometimes on the weekend i may but and even after it's six cups i still either don't fix enough. All right, so this popcorn is like one of my all time favorites. It's called Valley Pop and it has 40 calories in it per cup. And it's made with, I think it's got like coconut oil it's made with, but um, it's popped in small batches, whole grain, peanut free, tree nut free, gluten free, no GMO, dairy free. And it's movie theater brand. So you just see like the yellow and it's really, really good. And um, they, you know, they usually have this, but it's $3.99 a bag and it's healthy for you um, as long as you eat it. You know, and serving size, not the whole bag. So I did get two of these. Um, I don't know where the other bag is yet. So I got two of those, and those should last me for a while, as um, long as I don't go on like an eating binge of the popcorn. And um, let's see here, what else did I get from TJ Maxx? Oh, I got this little like Lazy Susie thing, and I really have to be careful with getting stuff. This I may take back, it was $5.99, but I got it thinking about the craft show that you know, I may put some of the little um, figurines that I have, so 
that way everyone's not having to pick them up. They can, you know, you can kind of like see it all like that. So that was my thought on that. So I will have to see. I will eventually do craft shows. Um, I would like to do this one. Um, so I really have to pray on that. And I'm kind of like, um, come to a decision. I want to make sure I don't lose my receipt. Oh, there's the bottle cap to one of them drinks that I have. I don't know why I did it with it, but, all right. And so I guess I should save that one for trash. Okay, what else did I get from PG Max? Oh, okay, I got this. I'm not really sure why I got this. I got this for my daughter for Easter, and um, yeah, I don't do a whole lot of like, you know, like, uh, but I thought, oh, she loves this. Um, she loves the friends, and of course, we all. Um, but, and it's called the Central Perk, and it's like a face palette. Now, I'm not sure whether or not the box is kind of tore up, but, um, I think this was like $12. I don't know whether these are just like highlighters or bronzers. I, to me, it looks like you can use some of the eyeshadows too. I don't know. I don't know. But I thought they were really pretty. You can see the little cup. Implants, implant, and imprints on it, not implants. But yeah, I thought this was so cute. Look at it. That's super cute. So I figured I was going to give her that for um, for Easter, you know, just as like a little surprise. And let's see here. What else did I get? Hmm. I got this from TJ Maxx as well. Look at this cute little bin right here. I am just such like a, like, oh, it's cool. It's a bin. It's different, but this is like really unique. Look at that. And it has three section, it's a three section organizer with lid. It's like a hinge lid. You don't have to worry about loosening it or anything. And I thought about this for like also the craft show. Um, you know, I'm thinking about maybe putting the puffy hearts in there, different colors, um, like three, you know, different colors, like different shades of this and that. And then, um, I'm not even sure what the price stuff was. So I do need to like get on the ball and really look into it. So, so that I don't lose the opportunity to get a table. This I also got at TJ Maxx. It was on clearance for $4. Um, it's one of those like shower shelves or something like that. And that was really cute. Now I do have a couple of the shower shelves, but not with the bamboo. They're like the stainless ones. Um, and they work great. And these sticky things work great. And you can only put it on like um, tiled um, PVC. It, ha it can't be like your standard like wall or wallpaper. So um, I'm, I ordered in some bins from Amazon to try to get myself organized um, because I have bins of molds and I did label them. So I'm somewhat organized with that a lot better than what it was. Um, so I'm just trying to like, I just, and I have a lot of stuff to get rid of and um, it, it's like all, all this stuff's like in my dining room slash office because that's where I used to work at when I was working from home. And so like half of the dining room table, yeah, it's never, it probably never be used as dining room table again. So it holds a huge like Vera desk type of thing. And now my daughter uses it for her, um, for school. And so, yeah, and every other space in there is filled up with my pour painting or resin work stuff. So I'm trying to really want to get some stuff organized, all that to say that. I'm thinking this might be a good part of it. Now I can return any of these um, if I find that they don't work. The um, organization then should be in, um, I think in like a couple of days. So I can't wait for that. Um, they were, they're also the same type of bins that are sold on Timu that I saw. And there, I was like, I don't think these are really gonna work. And then I got a set of those when I went into the local Ventastic store um, that someone ordered, um, I think from Walmart or something. They were brand new, still in the plastic, everything. And I thought, oh, these, they're a little bit smaller than the ones that I originally wanted, but I got them and I'm like, 
I really like these. These work great. Um, all of the pictures where they show where someone can set on them, they're really great. They just fold down when you're not in use and they fold back up. You know, put sides up, put back up, and put the lid on. Works great. Okay, so moving right along. I think that's all that I got from TJ Maxx. And I did have, like, um, I used one of my birthday gift cards to really purchase that. Um, I I remember I had a birthday gift card in my purse. I'm like, oh, yay, thank you, happy birthday to me. So I get coffee and popcorn. Hey, works great. And something for my daughter. All right, so dollar store haul time now. All right, I I really like peonies a lot, and I these were just so cute. These are like wall stickers, so wall decals, and I think they're actually removable. But I thought these would be really um, neat to, and you can see this too, and they're slightly different, and they're, I guess that, yeah, that's how they look there. I don't know if I can remember Susan there, sorry about that, and then that one, so. These are $1.25 each. Now, I did have like a bunch of those because I went through the store. I was probably in there for like an hour and just like, oh, this, this, this. And whatever videos, I saw some neat things. I'm like, oh, I can do this. And I'm like, oh, stop it. You can't, don't take on one more arts and crafts. No, you're doing resin and pore painting. Let that be it for And because I have enough stuff to open up shop for it. So no more, no more. Um, so let's see, I guess I'll save the organization stuff and type of thing right now. Um, this I saw, it was super cute. It's Make a Face Princess Glam. And I did, I got this for my daughter to put in her, just to give her something fun for Easter. And yes, she is an adult child, so she's my adult. <laughs> and I, I saw this and I thought it was so cute. So I, you know, I'm like, ah. Uh, I don't have anything to put any other stuff in because you know, I don't have Easter baskets or anything yet. If we did, I got rid of them all. But anyway, I will put this in and this I got from the dollar store. And so I'm just gonna put like these things in it. And I thought that was cute, 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 cute. And I did, I got some ice breakers, ice cubes for um, gum to throw in her bag. I may end up keeping that for myself because I do like the dome. Um, okay, so um, going down the organization thing, I saw these um, on one of the because I'm I've got I'm subscribed to some of the organization um, YouTubers. I just I love watching those because I'm like these people are so organized, and I'm like ah oh, I would love to be that organized and that just but yeah i'm not <laughs> i'm not yeah yeah I, I i could i could be a lot better in my organization but these are like pegboards and they haul she hauled these and she actually put them together and made like one large pegboard but um with the bins i got i think i'm gonna put like two of these like on each like layer and, but then when I was looking at the back, I'm like, well, these don't have sticker things to put up on. So what am I supposed to do? And then I had to dig around some and I found these things. And I think these are the things with the stickers. So you can either screw them to the wall or something, which I'm not, I'm just gonna do the adhesive. And you have to push these into the little backs of those and I didn't know that so um, if you go into the Dollar Tree and you get these little pegboard things don't forget the adhesive they're called rinks so I guess they're like links but for R because they're like a little ring thing and they have to go into that little hole right there and then they stick on the side of the bin so I want so you have to get a pack for each one of these cubes, and that gets expensive. So you need two of these for one of these. So I hope I got enough of them. And that's what really added up my um, Dollar Tree haul. So, all right, so I had to get <clears throat> two packs of these for one pack of these. So I got 
three packs of these. And I plan on putting them like this um, on those bins on the side going down. And that way um, I can either, you know, I'm hoping they're going to be sturdy enough. And so this is for another pack. So I'm hoping I have two more of these in here. I know I put a lot of stuff back. And to be honest, I may have put them back. I'll have to go back in there and get some, get, um, Let's <laughs> see if they have any. I had to really dig for those. And these are some of the peg hooks. Oh, do it this way. These are like really long, but first this is all I saw for saw and I thought, okay, I'll just get these. And then I came across oh I don't have to find it. Alright, I do have some other ones. Um so this is like a peg board shelf that goes with that whole system. So, and they have these in black and they have them in white. And so I got the um, black set. And let's see here. Um, hopefully I have two more of those bag board things here. There's one more. Mm, I think I have another one in here. Yep. So I have enough, yay. And I had to, like I said, I had to dig for these. And they weren't even with it. And I didn't even realize I needed it until I thought, well, what's this? And I'm like, oh. Makes sense, and it says fixation. Fix, fixation adhesives. All right, and then these are the shorter pegs, which I tried to find some more of these, but um, hooks and butt hooks. And then, oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Did I get multiple ones of these? Do I have another one in here? Oh my goodness, I got two of these. Didn't realize I got in two. I think I had these two before I found this one, but um, it'll be fine. I can't, and I did ask the lady if they didn't work for me if I could take this back. And she said, I think you can do exchange, but with the receipt. And these are little hooks, and I couldn't find these in black, so I just went and got them in white. I wish it had slightly larger hooks, but. I figure I'm not gonna hang anything that heavy on it because I don't know how well they're going to hold up. Now, one of the things that I have found with the Dollar Tree adhesive um, tape backings, they work wonders, better than like the, um, uh, what's the command strips? They, it works so much, really well. I wish I could just find the packs of these. I did try to like briefly look for those, but these are the hooks and I've used these the whole mugs up under the counter um on the wall up under the cabinet because i don't have enough cabinet space for large mugs that i have and so i always try to pick up a couple packs of these and this is for the two pound one and these are the larger ones so and i think i got two packs of those somewhere somewhere where where oh yep yeah, that's it <laughs> where are you going baby pop and let's see, I think that's all of the storage supply stuff. Well, actually, I did get this like empty. Um, hey, see, it's empty. Yeah, it's just like one of those pumps to put like really fingernail polish in, but I'm using it for alcohol for when I do resin work. Um, I do have a little spray bottle. Probably I meant to get another one of those and I didn't. Actually, I think I have another one somewhere. I need to go through stuff. All right, um, let's see. There is more. There is more. And then I got this little silicone um, brush thing for, like, if I need to coat something with UV resin, I'm thinking this might work pretty good for it. So, we'll see. And that's it for that. I will recycle those bags. Um, and I say recycle, reuse them for trash bags and trash cans. Um, they, these, I only got one pack of these. I had like three or four different ones in here. I'm like, I'm thinking I have some of these, but um, these are like ink um, clear stamps. And oh, it's so funny. It says Tapone's Claws. I don't know. <laughs> and, oops, I almost knocked out everything. My leg was going to slip. But I got these to use with um, a resin work to use them as inlays. 
and um, I thought these were kind of cute for the summertime special. Um, try to do some craft shows again. I don't know if I'm going to be up to doing it, but um, be perfect for people going on vacations and stuff. People might be interested. All right, and then um, I got this little scrunchie for St. Patty's Day. It doesn't have clovers or anything on it. Um, it has like looks like little star flowers, starburst flowers or something like that. Well, maybe they are for clovers. They are. Duh, they are. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, as I have a green scrunchie. All right, and then I saw these. They're little coins. Um, gold fake um coins so i thought this would be cute to put in some of the resin projects too like maybe put one or two of them in something i have to say maybe a tray that would be cute all right and then i actually put some of these back because i have four of these these are the stackable planners and i don't really have a green thumb but i try to like do some annuals every year and put them outside but they're so cool. I had four of them. I thought, okay, that's just being this, eh, eh, excessive. So I got three and I don't know. I would, I don't know. I can't wait to try to like use these. Aren't they neat? They're the neatest little things. So if I really figure out what I'm going to do with them, then I may just um, go back and get a couple more of them. Hey, baby. Hey. All right. And let's see here. What else did I get? Now I'm going to go into the food part, portion of my Dollar Tree haul. All right. And got one of these ice caffeine zero sugar ones. Um, I want to say it's this brand that does do something to my sugar levels. I don't know. The artificial sweetener in my body, I don't think likes. But I was thirsty and I'm like, okay, I need something. So I got that. And then... I got some chips. I'm trying to stay away from them. I'm saying that I got them for my daughter for her lunches. Um, so I got some of the Wise Golden Potato Chips, the original ones. It's not like a huge bag. It's uh, many servings is in it. Um, actually, it says about four servings. So, um, and then I got some corn chips because it's the bag's like really halfway full, and you see that. Um, just because I might make some chili. These almost look like fake ones. Look at that. They're so funny. <laughs> but I'm sure they're fine. A lot, most of their snacks and foods I'm fine. is really good. All right. I saw this. And I think I'm going to have this for dinner tonight. I don't tend to eat a lot of rice because the carbs and the rice just does not like my body. But actually it says Nani. I don't know. Like, wait, 90 seconds if I was 90 calories. <laughs> it's not. Um, but it's roasted chicken flavored rice. Cool. So, I... Yeah, it looks pretty good. And I have tried the um, Spanish one, and that was really good. And I've done that in some of my hauls. So, I, did, I got two packs of these. So I figured I'd give it a try. And expiration is September... 15, 20, 24. Yeah, I'm definitely be using these before that. And then my daughter wanted some of the fried dill pickle chips. And they didn't have that brand. I think it's by Lay's. But um, one of the girls when I was asking her about it showed me this. She goes, it's the only bag we have of this. And it's creamy dill pickle. So, flavor and then I, again, I was hungry in the store, so I saw these. You're coming up to see this. And these are the guaca chips. And I figure if I make chili, they can go with that too, if I make the chili. And then I was, I had to go back through the counter and, again, hungry. And my daughter had asked me if I could get her a chocolate bar. And then I ended up saying, oh, zero added sugar. I still don't quite understand this. So if y'all understand this, um, zero added sugar. But it still has 21 carbs in it. So I don't know. I don't understand it. It has 130 calories in it. And when I see zero I had sugar, I was like, I want to be zero. I just want to eat the whole thing. But it's six pieces as a serving. 
So it probably has like three, four servings in that thing. Anyway, let's see. And I saw these hauled on Coupon Girl, and I absolutely love her channel. She does live um, blogs, vlogs, I believe, and um, lots of different hauls. And yeah, just absolutely love her. And so I thought, well, I'll give these a try. They're the Hungry Jack um, original hash browns. So maybe we'll have these for um, breakfast um, one weekend. See if I can get my daughter to make them for me for us. <laughs> and I also got another pack of these. I gotten some of these um, in my last um, Dollar Tree haul. Bailey! <laughs> Come here, boo-boo. Come here. Nope. You don't like... um, and these are the Armor Hammer Essentials deodorant toilets. So, um, put the other one up in the bathroom upstairs. No, they're not flushable. But um, I thought, you know what, it's always good to have something like this on here. So I figured I'd put these in the other bathroom. And then I was looking for something else and then I saw this. And it's talic free body powder. Helps control body odor, absorb sweat and moisture, keeps body cool and dry. So I thought this perfect for like the summer um probably really for me because i sweat at nights horribly and it's like really you know you wake up and everything's soaked and you're like um did something go wrong <laughs> i'm like Ugh. all right um dental floss always need dental floss and i need some of this like in every single room and every single container multiple ones um dental floss i as i have age everything sticks to my feet like ridiculous and it's your age your insurance gets super expensive and that's a whole nother rabbit hole to go down um i was on a mission to look for my lemon shortbread cookies i think it was a seasonal thing maybe just for christmas or something um they didn't have any and shortbread cookies are weakness i probably should not have gotten these but i did that's all i'm gonna say about that um, um maybe they'll be horrible and of course, since I was down the cookie aisle, I'm like, I'll get these for my daughter. But these, oh, they used to be an insane weakness for me. Um, they're the fudge covered gram, gram, gram rounds. So I'm like, okay, so that's a try for my daughter. <laughs> Um, yes, and I can't have these sweets. I know I can't. I, and I don't even know why I tempt myself. Um, I saw these on another haul too, and they're called the by Oven Baked, and they're the Fudge Mint Fudge Mint Cookies. And these are probably like the Thin Mints or something like that. But I thought, oh man, they're even packaged on like the Girl Scout cookies. So, yeah, let's see. <laughs> And then I got some chili seasoning. I saw this and I thought, oh, this is really good. You know, three packs for $1.25, not bad. And I, my daughter went in a candy bar and I forgot to give it to her because I dropped off something for her at lunch and I forgot. So I will put these in the bag. One's for me. No, not. <laughs> I got these two. I don't know, I don't know, I guess I would, you know, once you get a little bit of sugar in here, it's like, Ugh. so I haven't had any sugar in me today. So I'm trying to like stay away, but it's what? Five servings per container. So it's how many straws? Servant size, eight straws. Wow. And it's 50 calories. So I can have quite a few of these. These are those little pixie stick things. They're called silly sticks. I saw these. I'm like, oh, I gotta get these. Um, pretty sweet. I don't know. I usually don't get into like, oh, getting all that until it's like, oh, maybe I will get a few things. And then one last thing, because I was on the mission looking at for the dill pickle chips things. And I thought, well, maybe these would be a good substitute. Sour cream and onion um, potato chips. And I guess that is it of my haul. And I really didn't get that much. Matt, I should have showed y'all the haul I did yesterday. I went to, I, no, I didn't even video it. I should have. Because I needed to get some proteins. I'm trying to get back hmm, on the carnivore um, or just mainly predominantly protein because I need that. My body 
needs that to be able to keep things working properly and so and hence I get all the sugary stuff and carb stuff so not good um it's a daily struggle but um I yeah meats are so expensive it's scary it really is but I did I went to the local Safeway and they used to have pretty good meats there and they used to have really good sales on it. and I did everything I got was insane sales um and so i got some really good deals um but yeah spent a lot of money on just meats but okay all right so that is it i did as i was pulling up the team who the one truck people pulled up and left a little bag um of course they had probably a silicone molds in it but these things were all ordered like maybe a month ago which after that I decided like no more no more um now if i get refunds and stuff which that's how most of the stuff is i got it all these last packages are all using up refund money and so um i you know i don't know if you could say to say free and i did win a couple of the fishland games and stuff like that and then there was another thing saying there was shipping that was for free i'm like oh Okay, so I must have won something, didn't realize that I won it. I'm like, okay, that works. <laughs> I'll take it. So, as long as I'm not paying for it. Um, but that's, um, that's it for this haul. Um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I do tend to get to be chatty catty, but I am super tired today. And I, when those bins come in, I can't wait till they come in because I just want to get organized. But I, I'm debating about trying to take some of the um, storage. It's not really storage, but some of the stuff out now that I know that I have got to get rid of. If I don't take it out, then it's like, it's just, okay, one more thing in here. One more thing in here that I don't need in here. So, um... I need to, I just really want to simplify some things. So maybe I'll kind of like do something with that. And I don't know, who knows? All right, guys. Well, y'all take care. I hope you had a blast day. Don't forget to like and subscribe my video. Leave me a comment and God bless you. And just remember, JLU, bye.